Do you like living in Lisbon? It's my dream city. I always wanted to live here. What do you like so much about Lisbon? Beautiful. It's diverse. I like colors. Although it's it's really they they always have this like phallus <laughs> like this <laughs> penis <laughs> symbol. <laughs> Wait, how often do you see a therapist? <laughs> Once a week. <laughs> Once a week. We're going to both bar. It's a place where you can find all my paintings. My name is Anya Rolska and I live in Lisbon. So how do you feel about having your uh, your paintings on display there? I feel great. Actually, that's what I dream about, really. Uh, but now I want my paintings to be everywhere in the city. <laughs> this street reminds me of actually Asia, because I live in Asia, in Singapore for half a year. Hello. You're an artist mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I but couldn't I tell. <laughs> so what do you write about? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out. In Lisbon, I found just for a year, I made so many friends. The Lisbon is a perfect place for me because Russian community is very kind of friendly here. I changed my name like legally uh, when I was 26. It was like to Russian and for foreigners it was hard to pronounce. What yes. was your original name? Luba, yeah, it's like in Russian it's love. Together with this name I really wanted to get rid of all the memories and kind of build my life from, from scratch. This is uh, about my process. I discovered uh, the Dyson, the hair dryer. <laughs> so fun, really, so much fun. Are you addicted to social media? I, I am, I am. I sleep with my phone. It feels like orgasm. What did you say? I said it feels like orgasm. <laughs> like that yellow, like lemon, that almost like a poison <laughs> for your eyes. I like how this yellow and red and blue and, and this flower is coming out. I never imagined myself as a mother, but I always imagined myself like um, at exhibition, a lot of people around me to celebrate your talent, to celebrate your success. And now we're gonna open this door. That's my place. Welcome. This is my other drawings from uh, Sketch Me Up. This is a part of my dress with acrylic paint. I think I was with some guy and I was like, I don't want you in my life. <laughs> I like colors and so unpredictable. If you, if you don't like it yourself, if you're not comfortable living with your own painting, so how other people gonna like it? That's me with my grandparents. Yeah, I look very happy there, happy kid. I was actually selling these postcards there and I, I made my first like dollars. I was paid with dollars. Like sans serif, serif and kind of script. I draw kind of paint abstract on a wine bottles. I do calligraphy already for four years and uh, I'm really enjoying giving workshop. Seeing people learning new skills, it is what makes me happy. I was always insecure about my body because I was a fat kid, as I said. And uh, now with COVID, I started work out with my personal trainer. And I'm so proud of myself because my body was always uh, something that I was ashamed of. It means a lot to me. It's my personal achievement. I'm proud of it more than, uh, I guess, my, my paintings. Do you uh, like rain? Yeah, I do love rain but not when it's in my tea. <laughs> but for me, it's been the best year of my life when I finally give up all my fears and start doing what I love. And I just, I feel like I found myself, finally.